The Synthesis of Benzoic Acid Attention! Toluene is flammable and can cause death when it swallowed or enters the respiratory tract. It can cause damage of the organs, dizziness or drowsiness and irritation of the skin. Potassium permanganate is an oxidizing agent and toxic if swallowed. It can cause severe chemical burns on the skin and eyes and is toxic to aquatic life with long-lasting effects. Potassium hydroxide is corrosive. Benzoic acid can cause irritation of the skin, severe damage of the eyes and damage of the organs on repeated or longer exposure. I don't take any responsibility for damage done to persons or property caused by the recreation of this experiment. The setup is a magnetic stirrer with a hot plate and an oil bath. In the oil bath a three neck round bottom flask is placed with a stirring bar. On top is a thermometer, a pressure equalizing dripping funnel and a Dimroth condenser. At first, 5 ml of 20% potassium hydroxide solution were added to the flask. Then 45 ml of distilled water were added. And 5.1 grams of toluene. The mixture in the flask was then heated to 85 degrees C. In the meantime 17.5 grams of potassium permanganate were dissolved in 150 milliliters of distilled water and heated up to 70 degrees C. Toluene and water do form an azeotrope which boils at 85 degrees C which is also used to remove water from the reaction mixture in some synthesis. When both solutions had reached their temperature the permanganate solution was added to the dripping funnel. It could be seen that the stopcock was not sealing properly but this was not a problem. Then the solution was added dropwise to the boiling mixture within 15 minutes. The following reaction takes place. The toluene is oxidized by the permanganate to form benzoic acid which is then deprotonated in the basic solution. A water soluble salt of the acid is formed. The permanganate is reduced and manganese dioxide is formed. When the azeotrope cools it separates into toluene and water again. This can be used to see if there are still large amounts of toluene present. After the addition it should be boiled under reflux for 1.5 hours but immediately after the addition the mixture began to bump and the flask was removed from the oil bath. Those who have seen my video about the outtakes know what this situation reminds me of. Due to the bumping staying at a constant rate the flask was added back to the oil bath after a short while. After 1.5 hours it could be seen that the condensate did contain significant amounts of toluene. To check if permanganate was also still present the flask was removed from the oil bath. The manganese dioxide settled at the bottom and it could be seen that permanganate was still present. So it was heated for another hour. After 20 minutes it could already be seen that the condensate contained way less toluene. In the progress of the reaction the temperature of the mixture had risen to almost 100 degrees C which is also an indicator that most of the toluene had reacted. At the end some ethanol was added and the mixture was stirred again to reduce the residual permanganate. Then it was left to sit until it reached 50 degrees C. 
In the meantime, 70 milliliters of distilled water were heated to 70 degrees C. After cooling down, the manganese dioxide had settled at the bottom. Then it was filtered off and residues were washed out of the flask with a bit of water. The smell of toluene was still present. Usually some manganese dioxide passes through the filter which is why the filtrate had a slightly brownish color. Next it was washed two times with 10 ml of distilled water which were taken from the 70 ml. This should wash out residues of the benzoic acid salt. After that the manganese dioxide was added to the residual 50 ml of the distilled water. The mixture was then left to sit for 10 minutes at 70 degrees C. This helps to remove last traces of product. The manganese dioxide was filtered off again and the second filtrate was added directly to the first one, while more of the dioxide did pass through the filter. To the filtrate a small amount of sodium metabisulfite was added. Sodium sulfide could also be used. This is able to reduce the manganese dioxide and soluble manganese 2 salts are formed, which happens when the solution is acidified. To get the benzoic acid out of the solution and reduce the manganese dioxide, 45 milliliters of 1 molar sulfuric acid were added. This protonates the benzoic acid, which is poorly soluble in this form and precipitates. The acid was added in portions, so the manganese dioxide was reduced before the benzoic acid did precipitate, otherwise inclusions might be present in the product. The pH was tested to make sure the solution was acidic. If it had not been, more acid should have been added. Then the mixture was cooled in the freezer to 6 degrees C and the benzoic acid was filtered off. The benzoic acid was washed with water and sucked dry for a few minutes. Then it could be removed from the filter quite easily. 5.21 grams of raw product were obtained which was not dried completely because it had to be recrystallized. Water is recommended for the recrystallization, but it has to be taken care that it doesn't boil. Benzoic acid is steam volatile. When it cooled down, it could be seen that it's good that the beak is covered. Above the solution, small crystals could be observed, which would otherwise spread around the beaker. Benzoic acid forms colorless needle-shaped crystals as it can be seen here. Then the mixture was cooled in the freezer to 3 degrees C. After that it was filtered again. The product was washed with water and sucked dry for 10 minutes. After drying it on air, 4.81 grams of benzoic acid were obtained, which corresponds to a yield of 71%. This synthesis was done out of curiosity, because usually when a reaction with two phases is done, a phase transfer catalyst is added. This speeds up the reaction or makes it possible at all, but obviously it wasn't needed. This was the synthesis of benzoic acid. I hope you enjoyed, please rate and comment. If you want to see more synthesis, you can watch my playlist about it here, or you can watch my latest video here.